do get into. This is a perfect example of what not to do at a campsite. Don't leave your hot dogs unattended. You don't want to leave your marshmallows unattended as well. You don't want to leave your cooler inside of your tent at any point. Because these two bears, Public and Nikita, who will be coming out shortly, we're going to see the damage that they're going to be able to do in a short amount of time. <laughs> Kobuk and Nikina are two interior Alaskan grizzly bears. They came here in 1998 after their mother and brother were shot and killed for getting into a free range chicken farm. They were six months old when this happened. Bears at six months are incredibly dependent on their mothers. They nurse for the first year of their life. And they live with their mother for the first three years. So to lose a mother at six months old is detrimental to their survival in the wild. Having no knowledge of how to survive properly in the wild, and having had learned those bad habits of getting into that free range chicken farm in Delta Junction, Alaska, they had to be removed from the wild. Kobuk is the bear on the right, and the Kina is on the left. Interior Alaskan grizzly bears are larger than lower 48 bears. Kobuk on the right is 650 pounds around, and the Kina on the left is around 450 pounds. Inside of the tent is a cooler that has been baited with food. <laughs> this is one of those campsite treats around the well. This is a mustard. So it'll be fun to watch how they interact with this campsite. We are only able to do these programs when we have donations of tents and coolers. I would like to go in So the bears walked out, they seemed a little cautious at first. Now they're getting the hang of it. <laughs> tent if you're camping in bear country. <laughs> Not safe in there. So inside of that cooler, it is baited with marshmallows and fruits. <laughs> Bears are omnivores, so they eat a mixture of fruits and vegetables as well as meat throughout their day. I'd also like to reiterate that we do this program to show how easy it is for a bear to destroy a campsite. Destroy a tent and in a bit, destroy a pool. We do container testing here quite a bit at the facility, usually with containers that are supposedly bear resistant, this container is not going to be a bear resistant container. Once 
curled up and Nikina gained the confidence to try to open that container, it won't be very difficult for them to do so, shouldn't it be? Whereas companies will contact us saying that they have created a bear resistant container and they would like to put it to the test. <laughs> We'll bait it with some tasty treats for the bears, place it in the habitat. They have to have one hour of pause on contact with that container without accessing it for it to pass that container resistant testing. Kovac over here on the right is our star <laughs> container tester. He has rightfully earned his nickname as the Destroyer. <laughs> Container testing here at the facility is an excellent example to show the intelligence of bears. It shows and exhibits their problem-solving abilities and their ability to adapt to those problem-solving abilities. Trying to find out what is the best way in order to access those computers. So, Kovac and Nikina here are 18 years old. Again, they have been here since 1998. The average lifespan of a bear in the wild is between 10 and 15 years, and in captivity can live into their early 40s. Our oldest bear here at the facility is their 101, and she's 34. Our bears here do not hibernate. Bears hibernate when they do not have access to food year round. Because we are open 365 days a year, we give all of our animals the opportunity to eat every day. Because of that, they do not hibernate. If anybody has any questions about any of the animals here, please feel free to ask. My name is Isabel, and thank you for joining us for this 10th program on the Beaver Day. Oh. Yeah. Where do we meet you? <laughs> <laughs>